referencing beloved material, hoping it will add gravitas to your comedy, otherwise known as hitching your wagon. Okay, now you're just trolling, right? Why is the in-show title The Simpsons Halloween Special 3, but the reference title is Treehouse of Horror 3? Seriously, this is your third year doing this. Make up your mind already. Episode not created by Matt Groening. Behold mighty Caesar in all his glory. <laughs> no! Person doesn't realize their clothes fell off until after everyone else does, even though it should be patently obvious for a variety of reasons, cliche. Stupid party. Wish we was trick-or-treating. Now, Bart, you can find just as much horror around the house. I believe Bart is talking about candy and not horror, so I'm honestly not sure what Marge is talking about. They could have come up with a better segue than this to get the stories is all I'm saying. Also, do the Simpsons appear to be the family on the block that would be throwing the Halloween party? This would be like the Bundys being the place everybody goes to to get into the Christmas spirit. And these are her brains! Yeah. Why would you give a kid a raw steak? Do you want to be known as the Trichinosis House? Because this is how you get known as the Trichinosis House. This lowercase i is driving me crazy. It would be one thing if they went full meme culture and randomly capitalized letters willy-nilly, but this is literally the only letter that isn't capitalized. Why? What is this foul diminutive torture and why does it vex me so? When did this change from a family birthday party into a birthday party with friends? Great Caesar's ghost, a talking crusty doll. I have no clue how old Bart is supposed to be, and after 31 seasons, I'm pretty sure no one does, but I'm guessing he's well past caring about a talking doll years old. I mean, killer dolls suck and stuff, but this one is kind of on you for leaving a butcher knife behind the couch. Funny joke and all, but should you really have included it mere moments after Homer said, Didn't even pull the string that time. Stay consistent with your string theory, Simpsons. Attempting to wash yourself in your own filthy human stew. What exactly is Homer running past here? I feel like the animators asked what Matt Groening wanted and he just said, Paint diarrhea. I was a fool to think anyone would want nude photos of Whoopi Goldberg. What the? Can I both defend Whoopi Goldberg from this unfunny attack on her appearance, and at the same time acknowledge the irony of this happening 28 years before she publicly shamed Bella Thorne for having her nude pictures hacked? No? No room for nuance in 2020? Okay, fine, just ding it and you decide what the sin is for. Also, this is right in the midst of Goldberg's work on Star Trek The Next Generation. You're telling me there wasn't some Guinan fanfics that needed some pictures to go along with it? Cape Krusty. Also, of course, Krusty getting out of the tied-up bag, the chained-up suitcase, and the bottomless pit is sinful as f but if he was able to get out of all of that and catch up to Homer's car, why did he bother buckling himself up underneath it? If you're going to do four impossible things, you might as well do five or six, and you'd be a hero to the Mad Hatter and Alice in Wonderland. Ew, dog water! Who has their dog's water bowl in the middle of the kitchen floor like this? Really curious how you dial an apostrophe. Also curious why there's a hotline set up to specifically keep Sue from doing stuff. Life's little mysteries, I guess. Yep, here's your problem. Someone set this thing to evil. Why wouldn't the hotline just tell you that over the phone? Also, this is Lisa telling this story to a bunch of people at a Halloween party. Why the heck would you tell a scary story about a doll from hell that ends with the doll having a simple switch that turns him from evil to good? You've led an interesting life. That's a lie and you know it! But I have seen a lot of movies. Conversations I will have with my future grandkids somehow make their way into this episode. Wearing a jacket without putting your arms through the sleeves. What do you think, Smithies? I think women and semen don't mix. <laughs> That joke is so subversively funny, I can't believe it actually aired on Primetime Network TV. I'm here about your ad. It doesn't have an address, but I figured, dang, that opportunity must be somewhere near the dock, so I came as soon as I could. <coughs> ah, so a single gas bomb takes down this giant creature in seconds, but when Burns accidentally sets one off at his own feet, it only makes him prance around singing. Pretty sure the show has that gas backwards. The way this section hilariously satirizes Kong and still manages to pay homage to and faithfully honor it is downright impressive. I'll take another sin off before I change my mind. Maybe he should eat more vegetables and less people. Fewer people, Marge. He should eat fewer people. <laughs> Funny joke and all, but when Homer grabbed Marge, she was at least on the second story, and we see him climbing at least two more stories here and here. So how is Marge only perched on the third story ledge? He's not dead! No, but his career is. Cancel culture. Oh, Homer. Show just assumes we will go with the absurdity and not let our mind wander into the actual mechanics of this marriage consummation. Show is wrong. Hey, hi, fellow Halloweenies. Trying to make us believe that uber-religious Ned Flanders would celebrate Halloween might be the biggest sin of this episode. I'm pretty sure Snowball 1 was a white cat, so this picture is problematic. It says a lot that in an episode with dated jokes on racism, obesity, and even child abuse, that this hat is the most problematic part. Ah! Zombie! 
brains! These zombies want brains, right? Why are they walking right past Willy? I guess it's maybe because he has no brains? Later there will be a joke about how they're about to eat Homer and decide not to because they can't find brains, but they'll actually have to inspect Homer before they make that decision. <gasps> Dad, you killed the zombie Flanders. He was a zombie? One of the all-time best Simpsons gags. Kodos and Kang have to make an appearance in a Simpsons Halloween special, whether it makes sense or not, cliche. Take that, Washington! <clears throat> Eat lead, Einstein! Oy. Show's over, Shakespeare! So you're not only saying that Washington, Einstein, and Shakespeare were all buried in Springfield for some reason, but they also all sauntered over to the school and then Shakespeare hid himself in a locker? I mean, you can say this is comedy and isn't canon all you like, but that's some next-level plot apathy right there. The idea was that maybe the library had another book to reverse the spell, but this is the same book of Magic and Spells Volume 2. Bart already had this book. Also, even if this was a different book, and it isn't, why wouldn't you just look at the original book to see if there's a reversal spell? Trojan, Ramses, Magnum, Sheik! The same spell that stops all the zombies also turns people who have been turned into snails back to normal? You gotta love those one spell fits alls. Hey, uh, zombies! That plagued our town are now just corpses rotting in our streets. Except you literally just showed them all heading back to the cemetery and reburying themselves. So which is it, Diamond Joe? Well, I'm sure glad we didn't turn into mindless zombies. Shh! TV! Ha ha ha! Are you old enough to remember when television was the dangerous technology that was going to numb our minds and make us all stupider? Hello? Talking to you? Yes, you, the one that's got your face buried in your device, watching video after video, playing in a loop to ignore the real world around you. Guys, I think they left the room a while back and it's just auto-playing now. Guys? Boring! For some reason, you all want to wear the CinemaSense Pitchfork M on your body. So we slapped that f***er on some new merch and threw it in the store. Posters, hoodies, tanks, socks. Click on the merch below the YouTube player or click the store link at cinemasins.com. Nobody calls me chicken needles. Nobody! Toga, 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 toga. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? That doll is evil, I tells ya. Evil! Like it's the fruits of the devil. No more rhymes now, I mean it. Hey, monkey, you want a peanut? Wow, George Washington! Take that, Washington! One last time.